Sydney White, and for EFD 620, I analyzed reading scores for the ARNT test. Um, I chose eighth grade at Hewitt Trustful Middle School. With um, a, I specified um, students with limited English proficiency, or my ESL students. For Trustful City Schools, there are two ESL teachers, and I'm one of them. Melinda Rush takes care of the Payne Primary School and Payne Intermediate. She is a reading specialist and she also has a master's in ESL. I'm Sydney White and I'm in charge of ESL for Hewitt Trustful Middle School as well as Hewitt Trustful High School. I have a bachelor's in Spanish, a master's in ESL, and I take care of 4% of the Hewitt Trustful Middle School population, which is limited English proficient. This is from the Alabama State Department of Education website. I'm going to focus on 2012 and 2013 school year and compare it to, to the 2011 and 2012 school year. I'm going to look at two different levels. Level four is, is the level that exceeds academic content standards. Level one is the level that does not meet academic content standards. The bad news is, after looking at this, is level one, which is does not meet the content standards, between 2011 and 2012, jumping to 2012 to 2013, we went from 0.0% in the level one section to 0.31%. The good news is we were able to test the entire ESL population, and with the level four exceeding academic content standards, we jumped from 48.87% in 2011 to 2012 to 49.53% for the 2012-2013 school year. What this really helps us do is to analyze multiple assessments. We can not only use the ARNT test, but for we can also use the WAP test and the ACCESS test. For No Child Left Behind and AYP, we have to make sure that we make um, annual yearly progress. And our LEP students are a big part of that. So when they initially come to our school, we have to give them the WAPT test. It, um, it tests their English skills immediately. And every year after that, we have to give them the access test until they reach a 4.8 out of a 6.0 scale. Between analyzing the WAPT, the access, as well as the ARNT, we can develop plans for these students to make sure that they are assessed properly in the correct classes and receiving the proper accommodations. From Trussell City Schools Board of Education, this is our exit from ESL service. It includes a lot of information like the student's name, access scores, um, the date of committee that we got together and actually analyzed the student, and we attach a lot of things. The ARM test is something that is attached to something like this. Their report card, more access testing, etc. We get together, make comments with counselors and principals, and make sure that these students are where they're supposed to be. We then decide to exit students after looking at their scores and making sure that they're at the proper levels. If they do not exit from services, if they don't reach those levels, we do a reevaluation form. This has a lot of similar information. Um, home language is on here, school that they're actually attending, and then recommendations. How many hours a week are they going to be seen? Um, whether or not the parent re refuses services from the ESL teacher. And then here's the state manda mandated assessments, which is where ARMS would play a big part. Um, scores would go on here. We would look at scores from WAPT, ACCESS, things like ARMS, and decide how many hours a week these, school, these uh, students need to be seen. So in conclusion, after assessing, or after analyzing these assessments, which the more you have, the better, we can develop an accurate plan, and in turn, improve student achievement. Thanks. <laughs>